What's going on guys? It's Jalen Lewis here with Dynamo Property Services here in Detroit, Michigan. Today is April 1st and it's the first day we're going to get the trucks wrapped. This is going to be a long process. It might take a few months to get everything wrapped, but we got the white truck going in first, followed by the red truck and then the gray truck. So we'll kind of show you the wrap design once it's all completed. And But here's what the trucks look like before we take them in. Can't wait to see the our uh, company information on the sides of these things and uh, see how much it benefits us in the future. So we're gonna get going to Total Performance Graphics in Pontiac, Michigan, and uh, we'll see you there. So yeah, we're. And as you can see behind me, the trucks look a little different. So let me take you on a walkthrough of them and my thought process of behind the wraps and everything that's now, all before i go through each wrap my thought process behind them was try to get them the exact same now they are positioned a little differently because this is a crew cab 2023 this is a regular cab 2019 and this is a regular cab 2015 so the wraps aren't perfect but obviously to the naked eye you wouldn't be able to tell the difference so let's go through the new trucks since this is probably the one you guys want to see most anyways we have our business phone number here on the side then we have a nice design going into the, the bed of the truck. We have our company logo on the front door. And then we have our inlays. So these can be removed and changed if I ever wanted to, as well as the QR code. So we have landscaping, debris removal, snow and ice, pretty generic for what we do. Then we have Google, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. And on the back here, we have our QR code. It actually works. I've tested it before. You're able to drive by, scan it. So that's uh, that's awesome for people who are trying to get in contact with us. And then on the tailgate, we have our company logo on the left, QR code right next to it, our social medias that I just mentioned, and a summary of our services on the side. Same thing on our 2019 F-250. Now on all three trucks, I also put a logo on the roof as well as on the hood. On the hood, it's facing this way. On the roof, it's facing that way. So when I do some drone footage, you guys will be able to see uh, our company logo and everything. Pretty much the same thing on the regular cab trucks. Just looks a bit differently because the trucks are much shorter. Now my plan is of course to get our services placed on the back sides and the front of our dump trailer when we upgrade to a larger enclosed trailer of course I want to get that wrapped but I don't want to spend the money to get that wrapped right now and then we're just gonna end up replacing it so that's gonna wait about a year or two and then I plan on doing the same thing with our tilt trailer here I just bought some steak pocket holders. I'll show you guys those in a second. They're actually in the back of this truck right now in these boxes. And it should display our logo, our services uh, on the side. And it sh it'll make it removable so I can uh, position it however I would like. As well as take it on and off when I need to access things like the bucket here. All right, guys, I got it all unboxed. Here's what it looks like. These are the Mighty Products 54 inch C channel pipe stake. So I plan on drilling into these, and that way I can make a giant board across that will allow me to display my services, company logo, phone number, things of that nature. Same thing with the other side, I just haven't took it out of the box yet. And yeah, I'll just remove it. I'll be able to access my attachments. 
for the machine. Now if you come over here on the dump trailer, as you can see I welded E-Track on the side extensions. So I'd have to take that ladder off. But if you come around here to the front, I got some extra hooks up here. I plan on just making some brackets that go in the E-Track. That way I can make them removable. Same with the tilt trailer. And it would do the same thing, allow me to display my phone number, company logo, services, and things of that nature. Now I plan on having different services on the trailers than I do on the trucks, just to make something different, you know. On this one I'll probably put like material delivery, or uh, concrete removal, or hauling services, and probably on the tilt trailer I'll put like grading, uh, you know skid steer services things of that nature so uh, I will keep you guys updated on those I'm just waiting for the boards to come in and then I'll configure the mounts and then take them up to total performance graphics to have them wrapped so I figured I'd climb up on the shipping container and show you guys a top view as well as the drone footage as you can see we got the logos on the roofs and on the hood of each truck as well as something that I thought about uh, as you can see over there, our red truck, when we put our salter in there, we have to take the tailgate off. And I didn't want to lose the ability to advertise because uh, the tailgate wouldn't be on there. So therefore our phone number and our services wouldn't be on there because our salter is in there. So I'm up here in the salter and I figured I would order the spill guard kit for the salter. And not only that, I took the opportunity to get it wrapped. So we got our logo our qr code our social medias and our services and phone number just like it would say on the tailgate but yeah let me know what you guys think i think it would be a good opportunity to get the skid steer wrap too i would have to rip off a lot of the jcb logos on there but i think it would mesh well with our truck wraps Neil was also kind enough to print out some stickers for us in various sizes just for us to throw on our mowers, uh, skid steer attachments, and miscellaneous pieces of equipment that we may have. Now I want to show you some more marketing efforts that we did for this year, uh, some necessary changes, and some advertisements that should help us gain some more customer traction. First, this was completely necessary was our business cards. As you can see, we have our logo our social medias, our new phone number, and our new email address. And then on the back we have our QR code with a list of services right there. And then we have our yard signs. So up front we got our logo, our name, uh, we have spring cleanups, dethatching, gutter cleaning, and mulch installation. Then we have call us today for a free estimate. Of course, uh, I would charge if it's much further away, but in our service area we do offer free estimates our phone number our social media logos and our qr code and then on the back we have the same exact thing but lawn maintenance land clearing hedge and tree trimming and debris removal now for the summer and winter we're going to have some more yard signs for those as well of course it's not that time of year so we haven't ordered those yet uh, i did want to do door hangers this year but we simply don't have as much time as i thought to pass them out uh, so this is what we're gonna go with this year. The yard signs have been working so far and they look great. Now I did get these wraps from Neil at Total Performance Graphics uh, in Pontiac, Michigan. He killed it, did a great job with the wraps. I love how it came out. I love the whole process he took me through and the screenshots he was able to send me so that I could get the trucks wrapped exactly how I wanted it to. There wasn't any point in the process where I, I were to say something was uncomfortable and I didn't like it and he would give me the opportunity to change it uh, and he would always give me the confirmation before he would print the vinyl and he knocked it out of the park with the installation him and his brother so if you guys need his information I'll throw him up on the screen but like I said it's total performance graphics located in Pontiac, Michigan. So let me know how you guys think of the wraps. Uh, it's definitely eye-catching. I've definitely got quite a few compliments from it. 
I've definitely got quite a few phone calls from it too. So it's been working. It definitely makes the company look much more professional and brings all the trucks together. As you can see, we have a bit of a theme going. We have red and then over here with our enclosed trailer and we have white and then with our new truck and tilt trailer we have gray so it just brings everything together uh, with the wrap so let me know what you guys think that's going to conclude this video with our marketing efforts for 2024 hopefully we get some more going at the end of the year and in the spring of next year so thanks for watching like comment share subscribe and stay tuned for more